Hello everyone, welcome to TechDim. Today in this video we are going to show you how to increase your hard disk space if you ran out of disk space. Well, sometimes we run out of disk space in our drive C. In this case, we don't want to uninstall our existing apps, but we still need some extra storage. So in this case, what will you do? Today we are going to show you just what to do. So coming onto our computer, we are going to go to the Windows logo and then right click on it. Then we are going to click on Disk Management. As you can see by running disk management we can manage our hard disk seamlessly but there is a problem here we have this small partition here and that's why we won't be able to decrease this drive and increase this one or increase this or decrease this one and increase this one so uh, this one is going to be a problem in this case we have a software that will do the entire job seamlessly but if you touch C drive on that software then you will have to restart your computer and there is a slight chance of data loss so now after opening a browser, we are going to download Minitool Partition Wizard. So go to the main first website, Minitool Partition Wizard. Well, we don't need this at the moment. Now we are going to go download Partition Wizard. We have Server Edition, Pro Edition, Free Edition. We need, we need the Free Edition and then the download will begin. After the download completes, you will have to run the installer and install it. Uh, I already have it installed. As you can see, there is one in bracket, so it's the second file. So I'm just going to run the Minitool Partition Wizard here. As you can see, this is the Minitool Partition Wizard. Give administration permission. And we are going to get some interface like this one. So first, we are going to increase the drive C, right? So what we should do is we're going to have to move or resize this partition. And then we are going to shrink it a little, uh, 46. Okay, let's say we are going to decrease two gigabytes here. Now this thing is going to be a problem. What we should do is move this thing. And this partition should be moved here. Well, it's not going to go away, right? So we're just going to move this partition, move it to this side and click on OK. And then we are going to apply it. We're not going to touch C drive at the moment. And I'll show you why we're not touching C drive, right? Just wait a minute. So as you can see, guys, it's done. Our drive is here and it's 144 gigs now. It was 146, so it's now 144 gigs and our C drive is 75.6 gigs, right? So now what we should do is move our reside C drive. Well, we could have done that and clicked apply, but I'm gonna show you why I didn't click apply. Well, as you can see, if I click apply changes, we strongly recommend all closed applications before the apply pending changes. Okay, let's see. Well, I think the C drive has increased. Let's try it. As you can see, we have 78 gigs of C drive, so C drive data has been increased without any errors. So you can try this, no worries. And now we're going to show you the reverse process, which is decreasing the C drive and extending your other drive. If you need any media storage, you don't use C drive too much. So what will you do? Let's decrease our C drive to 70 gigs because I often store my data on the other drive. So I'm decreasing my C drive, click on OK. Now what we have here is this. So now we're going to move this one, right? And then what we are going to do is we are going to move this one too. It increased, okay? Now we're going to click apply. Yes. So as you can see here, now it requires a restart. Operation resize partition cannot be completed because drive C is being used now. So what we are going to do is retry then. And since it's not working, we're going to cancel operation. Now, I'm going to show you a process that you don't need to restart your computer. And I can just restart the computer. It will be some minor data loss, but I'm not restarting because the video will stop. So if you don't want minor data loss or you don't want to restart your computer while doing so, you're going to have to click this C drive, right click on it. You're going to have to select shrink volume here. And while it's querying, we're going to select a C drive, click on move resize. And then we are going to see how much megabytes we need actually. So let's make it 70 and then megabytes. So we're going to need 71,880. Okay. So now we are going to shrink 71,800 acceptable characters. Why? Okay. 0.10. So 0.10 is not going to be taken, right? Okay. 0.10 not taken. How about now? Total size. 
All right, so we're gonna have to copy this one. I'm really sorry for giving you wrong information, guys. So we're copying 8,007 megabytes here, and then we're gonna go and oh, damn it! And now we're gonna select uh, the megabytes that we want to shrink, and now we are going to shrink the drive. So as you can see, Windows Disk Management can shrink C drive without restarting. And expanding it is no big issue. Even Minitool Partition Wizard can expand it without restarting your computer. So our disk management task is done here. Now what we're going to do is uh, perform a refresh here. How do we perform a refresh now? Here is the refresh button. So as you can see, after refreshing, we have the unallocated space here. Now what we're going to do is move this partition here and then we are going to resize or move this and then increase the partition size. And now, as you can see, our C drive is not 78 gigs anymore. It has shrunk to 70 gigabytes, but it has not increased. The new volume D has not increased. So after applying, it should be increased. Wait a few moments and let the mini tool partition wizard do its wizardy magic. Updating partition details, okay, we're gonna click okay, now we're gonna cut this, quit the program, we're gonna quit our browser, we don't need it anymore, don't ask, show me guys. Okay, now we're done, let's see, 152 gigs, as you can see, 144 to 152 gigs, and that's how you can resize your hard drive. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please do leave a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more great videos like these.